lay the brush down. Okay, and lay the brush down. So it overlap that area. Hmm? Okay, the body make the ending part of your stroke clear, clear. Do you see? Mm -hmm. Okay, so having this, and continue with this. Body press, hmm? Body press. Brush wet, body press down. So when I end, this edge is clear, doesn't, it's like that, hmm? Okay, and then some of this edge could be stronger, some of this edge could be lighter, and if you can press the brush this way, horizontally. Move the brush this way horizontally. What I want is to have you make this edge disappear. Hmm? This disappear, so this will be dark enough that that edge is disappearing. So moving the stroke horizontally, moving stroke horizontally, always keeping the body in front of the tip. So when you end, it ends like that. So there is no circle anymore, is there? So you do this, hmm? So we got those area developed. And then I have a lesser area, so I'm going to even be more stingy about loading. Only at the very tip now. Ooh, so very little. People, did you see I just dip like this, huh? It's like you, you have a tub of hot water taking a bath. Do you put your whole body in? No, you toe touch, right? So that toe touching, mm. okay. So from here, this tiny little, uh, another little trick I didn't, did not really share with you, and I didn't do, because this paper is pretty easy to, to blend, so I don't worry this too much, is that when you land, that point is the darkest. So if the very tip can touch a little water, it will make the landing softer, okay? So we can do that, and then if you can lay the brush in the middle like this, there's no color. That's how little we want, okay? And then reverse it, okay? Don't hold the brush vertical, lay the brush down like so, and then immediately move the brush sideways. Hmm? So that, Ooh, that is nice. So you see the top edge is fading, the lower edge is fading also. Hmm? And it fades outward, radiates outward like so. And you see on the border, the only part is this and this that needs to hide the strip. So I'm going in here a little bit and going in here a little bit. All right. I say whatever is happening, leave it alone. Huh? Just don't want solid edges. So if the edge here bothers you, you can do this. It doesn't bother me, I actually like it. But in case you want to make that edge disappear, you then lay the brush down over it and use some stronger color on top. Do you see that? You can make it go away, okay? So what we want is that softening edge on the top. And then the rest, we use the wash brush.
wet, dry. Tip touch water a couple of times. Mm -hmm. And then having one side loading the shade. Mm -hmm. And then I blend the brush. I blend the brush. Mm -hmm. And then the base area, I touch a little bit water so the other side would not be too hard. And on the very top, I go like this, go across. And then down below, I go like this, across. Area is kind of small, so you don't, you don't need to go like that. You kill the brush, like this. Hmm? So, so far we have the sky on top. and the, the um, base shaded. And then we're going to have same brush, loading same color, and coming to the lower part, you tilt the brush like so. So it gets into the moon. And the top part will fade. Okay. And then one more. And remember, where's the edge of the moon? Here. Here. Okay, so roughly it's like this. And then, saw cleaner and drier brush Anywhere you want to blend and soften more misty, you can do that. What's the D? 